Hello and welcome again. This is another Illustrator basic tutorial on pen, the pen tool and line segments. I'm going to show you how to make a quick 3D rendition of something in Illustrator using just lines. And we're going to begin. Quickly I can actually use the circle tool holding down the shift key and dragging. You get a perfect circle. And this is the scissor tool here. Sometimes it's not visible. If you click and hold on it, you'll see the different tool palettes here. And I'm just going to click on any point in the actual line segment here and just click on it. And I'm just cutting right into it. You can select that area that you cut out and just delete. Just going to cut a little bit more off here. Now I'm just move this down. I'm gonna use the pen tool to uh, kind of get that top. I'm actually gonna try to create a 3D vase here. You can use the white arrow here and actually select anchor points. Just shift control here, and I'm gonna just pull it down just to get that bottom vase shape. Just gonna try to shape it a little bit. I don't really need to keep the other side. I'm just going to slice that off so I can get a perfect rail going around it. Now, just with this half done, you can actually just go up to Effects, 3D, and Revolve. You can click on a Preview tool. And it actually makes a quick 3D vase for you. This right here lets you change the position of your vase. Just to kind of quickly show you, you can control the color with just a stroke. The stroke actually revolves around and makes the vase for you. So if I actually change the color on this stroke here to red and go back in there and affect some 3D revolve. You'll see I have a red vase now. And you can move it pretty much anywhere you want. Probably get a top view of it. And there's just an easy way for you to get a quick vase effect 3D. You'll see I don't really have a hole here. That's kind of an easy thing to fix. You can actually just Click on this line, move it in, and now we're just going to kind of create an inside for the vase. Now you'll see at the top of the vase I got a hole. And that's just a quick and simple way to get a 3D vase effect in Illustrator. And again, 
for more of these training tutorials, just go to my website at www.thedigitalmagicians.com. And also, my blog has a lot of videos that I'm going to be posting. Just go straight to that website and just click on blog and you can actually see a lot of different tutorials and upcoming tutorials that's going to be posted. And thank you again for your time.